Okay, so maybe Norway is the world's second most expensive country, home to the world's most expensive city. But let's get to the nitty gritty. How much did it cost us and would we do it again? Total, for everything even remotely related to the trip, we spent $3,577. That includes all of our camping gear, jackets, hiking boots, cold weather clothing, even some new camera gear I wanted for the trip. So what did we actually spend on the trip itself? That number is $2,415. Which includes airfare, rental cars, accommodation, food, and flights there and back for two people. And that number could have easily been double or triple if it weren't for one factor. Food. food. Accommodations in Norway are actually pretty reasonable. Like we said in our last video, we stayed in small cabins all over the country for about $50 a night. Our transportation costs were a little on the high side. The rental car was about $80 a day, gas was five or six dollars per gallon, but the engines averaged 47 miles per gallon. Food, on the other hand, was out of control. I will never understand the disparity between the price of groceries and the price of restaurants in Norway. After picking up our rental car, our first stop was the grocery store. $3 for jelly, $5 a pound for cheese. We even bought fresh salmon and cod for $5 to $7 per pound. But you put that salmon on a sandwich at a restaurant? $22. Put that beef into a patty? $23. Funny story about this burger. It was one of the worst meals we've ever had. We learned quickly that three days worth of groceries cost about the same as one meal out. So we ate out only six times. That cost us $325. And those were not extravagant meals. We're talking pizzas, burgers, and a gas station chicken sandwich. All of the groceries for the rest of the trip, $405. So there's your tip for traveling Norway. Never eat out. Stay out of the cities, take advantage of the camping culture, cook your own food, and the second most expensive country in the world can be quite affordable. Would we do it again? In a heartbeat. We'll probably go somewhere we've never been next, but we will definitely be going back to Norway someday.